In the previous tutorial, we looked at defining the data source and its connection properties in the Spring application.xml file. In this tutorial, we will create a Java Enterprise web application with the help of IntelliJ. In this web application, we will connect to the MariaDB database with a data source object that we will register with the Java naming and directory interface in our Tomcat web server. This is the preferred way of connecting to a database. We will be using Tomcat 8.5 as our web server. For my YouTube students, this slideshow is part of a YouTube playlist. The playlist URL will be listed in the description and comments of this lesson. All source code for this playlist will be available for free in a GitHub repository. These are the high-level steps we will perform in this lesson. First, we will create a new JDBC module. With the help of IntelliJ, we will create a Tomcat J2EE web application archive project. Then we will refactor the POM XML that was generated by IntelliJ. We will remove some of the generated dependencies and add some of the required dependencies, such as the MariaDB client jar. Then we will follow along with the official Tomcat 8 documentation to set up a JNDI data source in the Tomcat context.xml. And finally, we'll write a database utility class and update the generated servlet code to get the catalog name using the JNDI context file back in IntelliJ. And we will start by creating a new Java Enterprise module. We select Java Enterprise. We name it JDBC3 Tomcat JNDI data source. We select the web application project template. We select our installed Tomcat server. We keep the defaults for language, build system, and test framework. Change the group, and we keep the project SDK of Java 11. We only select the servlet. We keep it on Java Enterprise Edition version 8. Say finish. And IntelliJ auto detects a web framework. And now it says no frameworks are detected. So here is our generated project. So let's look at the POM. And we see that it did not specify the parent POM. So we'll add that. Load Maven changes. It also specified the wrong Java versions, even though we selected Java 11. And looking at our dependencies that IntelliJ created for us, we've got the servlet and then JUnit 5. And in the build, it's created the Maven War plugin. So we also need the same MariaDB dependency that we used in our previous demonstration. So we'll add the MariaDB Java client. We'll add the version. Load Maven changes. And now we're going to the Apache Tomcat 8 JNDI data source how to. And we look at database connection pool or DBCP2 configurations. And we will adapt the MySQL database connection pool example. So we already set up our MariaDB database. We already have some tables to test. And now here it specifies the context configuration. And this means going to the Apache Tomcat 8 configuration document and updating the context.xml with a resource of JDBC and then also updating the web.xml. So let's go back to IntelliJ now and look at our installed version of Tomcat. Edit configurations, configure, and this is our home and base directory. So let's look at it inside our Windows File Explorer. This is our Tomcat home. So we go underneath the configuration directory. And in here, we open the context.xml. And using our previous Spring Bean definition as guide, we define our database resource here using the MariaDB driver, the username and password, and the URL. And this is 
the example of the bean that we've used when we define the data source as a spring bean. So what we are doing here is we are telling Tomcat that this is the JNDI reference of our data source. So the next thing is to go back to our generated web archive application. And underneath the web.xml, according to our official Tomcat documentation, we need to add the resource reference. So we will do this for our MariaDB back in our web.xml. So we specify the reference name in the web.xml. And our next step is to create a dbutil class that will get the catalog name from our Tomcat JNDI data source. And here we also use our previous tutorials as a guide. So I'll be cutting and pasting in order to speed it up. Here we get the connection by specifying the initial Java naming context. And then we look up the data source and we return the data source connection. And this is the get catalog name where we use the connection to return the catalog name. And finally, we'll change our hello servlet to say hello MariaDB, get the catalog name. So let's build it and test it. It looks like we also need to add it to our parent form. That looks much better. So now we have run our Maven build and build all the modules. We have to find the JNDI connection within our web.xml and inside our Tomcat context.xml. We've created the database utility that gets the connection from an initial naming context class and it looks up the value that we defined in the context.xml file inside Tomcat. And then we have the catalog name helper method that gets the catalog value from the database connection. And we've updated the generated servlet that it says hello Maria DB and it gives back the catalog name. So now we are going to run Tomcat from within IntelliJ. And when we look at the configurations, we see that it's going to deploy our module, our war or web application archive module. So run Tomcat, bring it up to console. And there we have the Hello World page. And when we select Hello Servlet, we get Hello Maria DB and the catalog name of Charity DB, which means we got a working example where we get the database connection from the JNDI defined in the Tomcat context.xml. And that concludes this lesson.